Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the some more NXT thoughts I said last week. 400 views and we do another one. It got about 450 so you know, just about got in there. So another episode of NXT. Our opening contest this week, Lucha Dragons losing to Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy. Um, I, I, I taught, I did, I said everything along with Enzo, which was weird because I don't I don't know. I just, it's one of those everything. I said it all. I said it all. I, I did the S A W F T. I did it all. And I'm like, ah, it's fucking crazy that I remember all of it. Does that make sense? It was ingrained. It's like, yeah, no. It's like the New Age Outlaw sort of thing. I'm just like, yeah, all right, okay. Um, the uh, Geico Lizard thing made me smile. 15% stuff made me smile. It made me smile even more that the fans started chanting for that. Um, have you ever, I may have said this on the on vids like this before, but you know the Lucha Dragon? You know, Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. Have you ever noticed that Sin Cara doesn't seem to be as up for doing it as... <laughs> Kalisto seems like, yeah, fucking Lucha, this is the best thing to ever happen to me. And Sin Cara just like, ah, yeah, whatever, Lucha. <laughs> anyway, um, did you see the snap on the Rana by Kalisto? That was fucking great. Um, dragons work on Enzo including a schoolboy powerbomb. Colin, co Colin comes in, right? Drags Enzo into the corner. Makes the tag so he can hit <laughs> the East River Crossing and then they do a rocket launcher that gets the win. About five minutes. Nothing wrong with it. It just it felt a little bit long if that makes sense for a five minute match. Like, odd. After a couple of videos, one about Riley, one about Owens. Um, Alexa Bliss defeating Carmella. I didn't mention Alexa Bliss last night, last week, sorry, because I completely forgot her name. So when she get yeah, I, I, she was on screen and I was, I was like, "What's your name? I can't remember your name. What the fuck's your name?" So I actually wrote on my notes, "Some bird got to promo." I'm just like, "I can't fucking say that. You can't. You can't be some guy. You can't like because it's just fucking saying no." Um. Wow. We the fans don't give two shits about Carmella when she's away from Amor and uh, Colin Cassidy, can they? Um. Bliss is fucking beautiful, isn't she? Jesus Christ, that's one good looking girl. Um, she does some, she does a my historical cradle that just makes you go, oof, that was nice. Um, well, while not Sasha Banks and Charlotte from last week, there's nothing wrong with this match. It's just the crowd don't seem to really give a shit. Um, Sparkle Splash off the top looks nice, gets the win. I mean, I've actually got written on my notes at the end here, Bliss is staggeringly pretty, isn't she? And she really is. She's like, oof, wow. Um, yeah, nothing wrong with it, though. I mean, again, it, it was, it, if anything, the thing that I found was it felt like it dragged a bit. And for a five again for a five minute match, that's odd. Um Alex Riley cuts about a cuts a serious promo. This one's all about being in a cage and how everyone gets a shot in front of him and how he loves the business and all that. This was good stuff. Um and then Breeze cuts a promo about our um Hideo Tammy and how he's not just a pretty face and all that. And Breeze just makes him smile. I just I, I, every time Tyler Breeze is on my screen, like, yes, that is the fucking man. Um, Alex Riley defeats CJ Parker in his comeback match. Riley did have some ring rust, which is to be expected. He hasn't fought for two years, apparently. Uh, he gets a flip and net breaker, and he gets a block buster, which gets the win. About three minutes, didn't really get a lot of offense in. It was all right. After the bell, Owens comes out, tells Riley he's an idiot for giving up his commentary career because Owens is going to destroy his in-ring career. I hope Owens obliterates Alex Riley. I really do. But at the same time, I said last week that I'm invested, I care. So it's one of those, yeah. It'll do great things for Owens to just show that he's absolutely, you know, just how much of a badass he is by... Absolutely battering. Oh, and he hasn't forgotten about Finn Balor either, which is lovely. Our main event was Tyler Breeze defeating Hideo Atami. This was a decent match, about 11 minutes. I love how the fans chant Hideo's gorgeous. That is fucking great. Um, um I, th I said this last week. Storytelling where you've, you've fought the guy before and you remember what happened. So, um... When Tyler Breeze goes for the ring post figure four, he was able to counter it. That, that's the sort of, yeah, I knew it. I knew what was coming. I knew how to get out of it. Bam, done. I love storytelling like that. Both men look good. Both men got a decent amount of offense in. Itami uh, misses a corner drop pick, allowing Breeze to get the beauty shot for the clean victory, which I was so pleased about. Because he does lose a lot, doesn't he? He does lose a lot. So, yeah, um, unfortunately, I mean, 415 words I've got written down here. There wasn't really much to this one, actually. But let me tell you this much. I think the best thing I can say about this one, this show, is I didn't expect... No, I did expect... I wanted more when the main event finished. As it was one of those, oh, is that it? Because the sh the once, once again, that hour fucking shot past. And you sat there, you left you wanting more. 
And bear in mind that I had no Neville, no Zane, or no Balor on it. That's always going to be a good thing, isn't it? That's the way I look at it. So, yeah, I enjoyed this one. Um, I don't think it was as good as last week's show, but it was still decent, it was still watchable, and it was still fast, which I love. Um, so, yeah, if you enjoyed this, let me know. And, of course, I will do more. If it gets the 400 figure, I will do another one next week. My next review is going to be a ECW Living Dangerously 1999 review. Look for that in a couple of days' time. All right, then, guys, I've been Mark P., uh, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Take it easy. Not the longest of vids, not the most in depth of vids, but you know, I think sometimes it's better like that. What do you think? Let me know. Take it easy.